The day of reckoning, Matthew 25, verse 19. After a long time, the Lord of the servants came and settled accounts with them. As the Lord Jesus continues in this parable of the talents, he tells us that after a period of time, the Lord of the servants came back and he said, now I want you to settle accounts. There's a day of reckoning that's coming. You know, we must live with a sense of this understanding that one day we will have to give an account to the Lord of the life we've lived on earth. Now, we don't live life with a morbid fear of the day of reckoning, but we live with a sense of accountability and in fact, a sense of happy anticipation of the day of reckoning. Because we understand as the scriptures teach us, and I will just refer to a few in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 9, the apostle Paul verses 9 and 10 says, therefore we make it our aim, whether present or absent, to be well pleasing to him, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body, according to what he has done, whether good or bad. So Paul says, look, you know, we are living life in view of that day when we will stand before the judgment seat of Christ and give an account of how we've lived our life and what we've done with what we've been entrusted with. So we need to live with that sense of accountability that as you journey through life, you're accountable for the time that you're live, journeying through. You're accountable for various resources that God has placed in your hands. It could be the opportunities He's given you. It could be the, the grace and the gift He's given you. Uh, it could be the uh, contacts, the people, the relationships He's given you. Uh, he's, so many things that God puts into our lives in various stages of, of our journey. And we need to live with a sense of holy accountability that we are grateful to God for all that He's put in our lives, but yet we are stewards of this. And uh, we are going to give account to the Lord uh, of what we did with the time, the resources, the people, uh, everything He's put into our lives. We're going to stand before Him and say, Lord, this is what I did with it. And so we live with that sense of accountability. So therefore, we make the best use of whatever He's placed in our lives whatever he's placed in our hands, we live with that understanding. Now, it is also a sense of happy anticipation because there are times when we, we, we do everything that does not seem to be an immediate reward here on earth. Maybe people don't recognize all the efforts that you're putting in. Maybe people don't see the efforts you're putting in. Maybe there is no applause from man. Uh, there is no affirmation from people, none of that. And as you're journeying through it, if you live with that sense that, hey, one day I'm going to stand before the Lord and let Him know that I gave it my best and that's the time when I'm going to receive my reward, then this day of reckoning really is going to be a happy day. It's going to be a great day because you're going to stand before the Lord and you say, Lord, you know, I did my best, Lord. I gave it all I had. I, I, it may not have been the greatest thing on earth, but I gave it all I got. And here I stand before you with no regrets, with no remorse that I held back anything. So that day of accountability will be a day of great rejoicing as well. So let's live for that understanding that there is a day of reckoning coming and the time that we spend, let's live in view of that. Let's do the best we can with every resource God has placed in our hands. Let's pray. Lord, we ask you for the wisdom and the grace to live with that sense that we will stand before you to give an account of all that we've done with the grace, the gifts, the resources, the opportunities and the people that you've placed in our lives. Help us to live with that sense of accountability. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.